these are the people that help me and they can definitely help you guys too so please check them all out hey everyone i'm here today to talk about the uh, new upgraded version of two box like it's 1.6.1 1. uh it has i'm gonna make this really quick and what i'm gonna tell you is why i really hate this update so let's first let's talk about the well, i'm gonna talk about the main things they changed and the only good thing is now when you drop the model into this, into Chidu, uh, any part that's touching the build plate will be green. So if you look from underneath, it will show green. So you can see that your model is actually on the plate. Okay, if you're, if you're printing without supports, and even if you put supports on, you can make sure that, that they're on the build plate. So that, that's an upgrade for sure. Uh, now let's talk about the two things that are driving me crazy right now and making me go back to the old version. One, and this is something they advertise as a big plus, that now when supports drop in, sometimes when you go to add a support or when auto add supports, if you have two supports there and you add a support in the middle, instead of going down to the build plate, it branches to the other two supports. So it's supported by supports. So they advertise this as this great thing which saves you resin, which unless you're doing a super duper tall model, it maybe overall per print it saves you two or three cents. I don't know, but forgetting whether it saved you a penny or two on a print, I don't even care. For someone like me, and hopefully people like you who are trying to get perfect prints, once you go to add a support and it bridges between two supports, what does that mean for us? If you think about it, you already know from my other videos, you can't edit this support. You can change the tip, but you can't move the base around to reposition it. So this is frustrating me to no end. So many times I want to drop the support, and I want, I want it to be on the build plate so I can move it around, move the base around and change the angle and everything. And now a lot of times when I go to drop new support, it automatically bridges to two other existing supports and it totally screws me up. I have to go and delete it, try to add another one in a different spot. It is, I mean, they're touting this as part of the upgrade. This sucks, okay? For someone like me who does manual supports, it is horrible. Even if you do auto support, then you need to fiddle with them afterwards this screws that up also. So this huge mistake in this update, from in my opinion, for Chitterbox. Uh, the other thing, and I don't know where this came in, and, and maybe if someone else sees this who knows there's a fix for this, before, I could scroll in with my mouse wheel and get as close to the model as I want really quickly for you know pinpoint placement of supports and making sure I'm really getting the little islands. Now, for some reason, since the update, once I scroll in, I get kind of close to the model. All of a sudden, I can scroll like crazy. It doesn't really move me any closer. Or if it does, it's like imperceptible jumps. And, and then when I want to scroll back out to see what I've done, even when I do manage to get in, then I'm scrolling backwards for like a minute before finally it suddenly like catches and moves me back. Frustrating me to know it. In fact, it slowed down my printing for a while because I was trying to use this new version. And it's so frustrating doing my supports that I just... Yeah, for a couple days, I'm like, screwed, I'm not even printing models. I'm so mad at this update. So obviously, I'm going back. Um, the other thing it says it does, it says they upgraded the auto support, so it places more supports. If you, auto supports on still sucks. The one thing they did do, though, they did make it a, a little easier. If you're manually placing supports, you can get them into some places that you couldn't get them in before. But even that, it's... It's like so-so, the way it does. Some of the supports that let you add are too thick, even if you adjust them. So I'm not thrilled with that. But overall, I'd say the update, you know, hey, change the developers, if you're watching this, that update sucked, okay? You, you, you got rid of, for people who have to hand place, which anyone who wants good models, you have to do some hand placement. Totally ruined the functionality of the hand, of the hand placement. So, plus they didn't change the other stuff that I thought they should have changed. The back button still doesn't work the way it should, you know, the undo button still doesn't work the way it should. Uh, still, when you reorient your models, you lose your supports. So a lot of things they should have fixed if they had watched my videos, they didn't fix. And then some of the things they chose to do make no sense at all. And in terms of the zooming in and out, again, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. I need to do something different with this new update. But they, they made that so it's unworkable for me. So as far as an update goes, this is, this is not an update. It's a down date. I don't know what you call it. It's bad. They made it worse, okay? It's a downgrade, I guess would be the word. So anyway, that's my quick review of Chitterbox. So if you're wondering if you should upgrade to it, if you haven't yet, don't do it. If you did do it, you're probably experiencing some of the same frustrations that I have been, and maybe you've already reverted back. If not, I advise you to just go back 
to, a, to an older version of two boxes and work better. So that's it for today. Uh, you know, expressing a little bit of my frustration. Hopefully the Chidu developers, they said they were going to consult me on their next update, but they didn't, obviously. Um, and I think they should have, because I would have told them that this is crap, don't roll this out. Anyway, maybe if they see this, maybe they will consult me on the next one, because I'm not against Chidu. I use Chidu. I, I would love to help them uh, make a better product for all of us. So anyway, that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys learned something about the Chidu uh, update, and happy 3D printing, everyone.